What is going on guys? This is FaZe Rockstar here and this is the 12th episode of the History of Rockstar. Uh, this episode is long overdue and as promised I do have some COD 3 gameplay for the basically COD 3 special of the History of Rockstar. This is going to be all COD 3 talk, all kinds of stuff. So the gameplay basically I uh, was only able to get this game because it was impossible to find any games when I was on and uh, this video needs to go up for today and I don't really have time to play any other time so uh, this is what I was able to get it is basically a free-for-all game I came in uh, the guy that was in first place already had like 40 kills so basically I played until I overtook him in kills because the score limit was unlimited and all that stuff so uh, I just played until I got like I think 61 kills I actually passed him at like 55 as you can see he had like 38 uh, you can barely see I was just tapping randomly as I always do when I die but um he had like 38 when I came in and I passed him at like 55 and then I played a little longer to like 60 so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay it's kinda long hopefully it doesn't get too boring but hopefully the reason you're here is to listen to me talk about my COD 3 days uh, which was not too long ago uh, actually but uh, I did hint at it some in the last History of Rockstar, but that was literally over a month ago, and I'm sure you guys uh, haven't seen that or don't remember that, but go back and watch it if you missed it, but I'm just going to basically cover everything COD 3, uh, even if I did touch base with it in the last episode of the History of Rockstar. So, uh, you know, basically with COD 3, you know, I was in VR at the time, and I uh, was playing Modern Warfare 3 a lot, but I got extremely bored of Modern Warfare 3 and I didn't want to play it anymore but uh, all the other games that were out of course were like Modern Warfare 2 I wasn't a fan of that um, you had COD 4 still which was already overplayed uh, had been overplayed for years by then but I was not going back to COD 4 I just could not do it so I was trying to think of some things that I could just like replace some stuff with and uh, or not replace some stuff with but some other games I could play like Call of Duty wise and uh, you know Call of Duty 3 was my very very first uh, Call of Duty game like on Xbox or Xbox game in general to play online any of that and uh, You know it was kind of overlooked like not many people played this game uh, You know online nobody made YouTube videos on it So I just was thinking you know this was my game. I enjoyed this game a lot uh, I was considered a top 10 GB player for this game whenever I did play it I uh, go back and watch some other history of Rockstar for that information but you know this game I this was one of my favorite games this is probably uh, my all-time favorite game on Xbox or in the Call of Duty series but um just people like were really like quick to like not like this game mainly because of uh, you know how the guns work the sprinting the sniping especially that's the reason it wasn't big on YouTube is because people didn't want to deal with how the sniping was but you know I kinda found the sniping you know the challenging aspect of the sniping even more fun to do so basically whenever I was thinking of stuff to do I was like let's go try this and I made a, I made a mini Taj uh, for COD 3 and it wasn't the best like all my COD 3 gameplays that or all my COD 3 mini Taj's that I made uh, the first ones they're actually not on my YouTube channel anymore I actually had to take them down uh, I was in the process of trying to get a partnership and I um you know they one of the things was to not have any copyrighted music and turns out I could have just left them up there the whole time because I never got the partnership with that company but I got a partnership with a different uh, not company but network and uh, I took them down I could have left them up but uh, that was a while back and I just haven't gotten around to uploading them again but I still have them somewhere but uh, yeah that first episode it was it was pretty good for my first one because you know I didn't really know what standards would be uh, for episodes wise and all that stuff because no one had played this game I was basically writing the standards for this game and uh, you know so the first thing you know uh, was just going for simple stuff like uh, three pieces and stuff like that I'm trying to think of stuff in my head right now I'm trying to do this one take so uh, three pieces and stuff like that because for some reason uh, the kill feed in Call of Duty 3 is a lot faster than all the other Call of Duties. So, whenever you're, um, you know, aiming in and stuff, it like just goes extremely fast whenever you're getting kills. And I mean, you can stack up some kills. You can get a lot of uh, kills in the kill feed, but with the sniper, it's a whole different story. It's almost like 
uh, the DSR now after the update but a lot slower like especially when you're aiming in and all that stuff uh, the you know rate of fire is quick but the you know the scoping in time uh, you can't like quick scope exactly uh, you have to aim in for a certain amount of time to actually be able to shoot if you try to quick scope it literally will not let you shoot so there's a little trick to trying to get quick scopes to work and all that stuff so my first few episodes were actually uh, just like three pieces like I said and all that stuff and that's another thing as you saw right there uh, when people first spawn you can't kill them immediately they have like a three second uh, you know like time where they're basically invincible where you cannot shoot them at all and that's what happened just then so that was another thing about this game that was kind of tough sometimes but uh, yeah like my first few clips were just random three pieces and all that stuff so um yeah it was like it was actually pretty difficult to hit three pieces with uh the you know the sniper starting out because i was just starting back on this game hadn't played it in years and i was just trying to think of stuff to do but uh i kept trying and you know stepping up the standards then i went from three pieces to uh four pieces like scrolling four pieces and then eventually to five pieces which were actually uh, really really good clips like I used those for my montages and all that stuff once I started doing the old school series and all that so uh, you know I was just casually stepping my game up and all that but um we, as we you know kept going on I was just trying and trying to hit a quad feed in this game and I figured out the only way that that was possible was to no scope every single skill or at least uh, no scope three out of the four like maybe you aim in for the first kill but after that you have to no scope the rest of the kills because um you know just how fast the kill feed moves and how fast it takes to aim in and all that stuff it was impossible to get a quad feed so I, that's one thing I was trying to do was to hit a quad feed and uh, I finally hit one I think it was like episode 12 uh, or my 12th mini in this game I hit a quad feed so then I knew it was possible I knew it was I was able to actually hit some crazy stuff so um I ended up doing around 19 minis before I decided to go back to some other Call of Duties and all that stuff and uh, I think I was actually in school at the time yeah I was you know I had baseball going on so I wasn't playing Xbox too much I was just basically every single mini I did was a daytage and then once I got out of school, which was in like May, uh, I was thinking of more stuff to do. So I finally decided to do a uh, big montage. And by this time, I was hitting uh, quad feeds in this game pretty regularly and all that stuff. So I knew what kind of standards I wanted to do. So I figured let's try and do a like a new series kind of thing called Old School uh, is what I eventually came up with the name for it. Basically because, you know, this game is old school is I don't know what nobody played it and all that stuff so I was basically the guy in charge of making the standards for this game uh, making videos on this game and everyone seemed to love them and that's just what made me enjoy this game even more but it was honestly extremely easy to hit clips on this game uh, once you knew the spawns and all that stuff and you had 12v12 lobbies most of the time so there was a lot of people that you had to shoot at but um when I started doing the old school series uh, you know, I was basically just like I said going for clips and the first three old school uh, uh, You know montages were basically uh, Like kind of best ofs of my Call of Duty or my first 19 minis or 20 minis however however many I did and uh, They were just like the best ofs of those. I didn't really get new clips I did play still and I put new clips in when I got them But I was just basically doing the minis and then then I would do the best ofs and then for uh, The fourth one I Decided let's go for all out like new clips and all that stuff and actually get someone else to edit it so I got the clips and I got a lot of pretty sick clips like each time I made a video the next video I made was always better than the last one and I always made sure that every single video uh, that I made like was a step above the one I made before that and uh, I feel like every single Call of Duty 3 video I did I was able to you know achieve that goal that was my goal I made to make each video better and better and then uh, you know I was able to do that you know as I started hitting more like actual quad feed stuff and clip stuff that was up to standards in the recent Call of Duty games and all that so uh, it was pretty 
pretty difficult because like people were going out and buying this game and realized how hard this game actually was uh, you know to hit stuff and you know I was just surprised uh, that I was the only one that was really able to do stuff like this on this game but it took a lot of practice and all that stuff but for the fourth one I got uh, my fourth old school montage I'm kind of jumping back and forth I apologize for that but my fourth old school montage I got a guy named Platty like I was in style or not in style he was in style with me or I wasn't in style at the time I was in VR at the time but we were in style once together there we go that's what I'm trying to say so I knew his editing was good he actually edited my conditions montage when I was in style there we go that's what I was hinting at and uh, I wanted him to edit it again because he had the old school feel to his videos that he edited and I knew that would be perfect so he did an insane job on that and um, be sure to check that out I'll leave it in the description and then for my fifth uh, old school series or old school montage uh, it was also kind of a best of but I got a lot of new clips for it as well and uh, all that stuff so I got that edited by a guy named Dutch Joey and he did an absolute insane job he did exactly what I wanted to do and just like the standards of those clips uh, for that montage everything every single thing was like insane for Call of Duty 3 because Call of Duty 3 is a really difficult game when it comes to clips and uh, I'm actually running out of time I want to talk more about COD 3 because I love this topic and all that stuff but hopefully you guys enjoyed I will go back another history of Rockstar Call of Duty 3 edition for the next video guys but hopefully you guys enjoyed this I will go into more depth uh, with clips and all that stuff for this game in the next history of Rockstar because I, I really want to cover that stuff but uh, as you can tell I ran out of time we're already closing in on like 12 minutes but hopefully you guys enjoyed and be ready for an episode analysis video tomorrow on my most recent phase episode so be on the lookout for that and I will talk to you guys then